I don't care the post. How you doing? But I got a little interesting story I'd like to tell you. It's why the Democrats don't want you going to a private school that's paid for by the government. Because when you do go to one of those schools, a lot of times they don't have the newest textbooks. So you learn that socialism is the problem with the Nazis. Nationalism was only to get the Germans to help them. Because their goal was socialism around the whole world. National only means your country. There's African nationals, there's German nationals, there's American nationals, and there's English nationals. They're trying to get away from their Nazi takeover. And you can do it. This last election you guys had, this was pretty much America versus Nazis. I mean, if, if we would have lost, uh, we wouldn't have had any other, or you guys wouldn't have had any other place. I still have my paperwork. I was born in England, and then my dad moved me over here to get away when I was four. And I think I'm... This year I'm gonna well I'm gonna save up and get my citizenship. It's harder for me to get citizenship because I'm legal, and the Democrats only want to give away free citizenship to illegal people. So, oh well. But uh, hopefully, I'm starting to say about right now. I had a, I had uh, a credit increase, but I don't know. I, I'm running into some problems with my credit cards. But you know, right now I'm gonna try to make. I found a loophole in the transportation laws. Well, it's not really a loophole, it's pretty obvious. I mean, there's people, you can drive around on these hoverboards and stuff, and if you put a wheelchair stick on them, you can go up to 35, or no, up to 55 miles per hour, if you made it like 42 inches long. And 35 miles per hour is maybe a 54 inches long. So, because what they figure is, if you're handicapped, your chair can move by anything that's non, not fuel related up to 55 miles per hour. So, all I have to do is figure out how to get chair to move 55 miles per hour. Well, right now, I'm working on building one because I found a, a 10 mile per hour hoverboard thing that goes, that's remote controls. I bought a 12, I remember when I first started doing this a while ago, I signed up and bought my first hoverboard, but I couldn't reach it because it was too far, um, and I, they, they left outside and it got taken. So I've been saving up for years trying to get another hoverboard. And hopefully within the next couple of months, I'll have enough to get my hoverboard. This one only goes 10 miles per hour, but it's remote controls. I'm, I bought a video game controller, but I, I don't even need to do that now. I can just use remote control hoverboard. What I want to do is have the 
uh, the PlayStation most and have the you know each controller be powered by a particular wheel, so you could control your speed and everything and do turns uh, off of the remote control and your just by slowing down or speeding up the wheel. And so, I'm going to keep on. I hopefully, I'm going to do it hopefully really soon. I keep on pushing back the day that's going to get done just because of my funding. But, you know, eventually I will get it done. And once I get done, I'm gonna see if I can find people to help me start a big company. Cause if you can make a personal mobile theater bike that goes 55 miles per hour and go on the street, that only costs you a thousand dollars, that will probably change the whole world. Okay, but you know, I'll give you guys a picture when I get done. Okay, thank you.